What's up everyone? Randy back again from Beard Booze with another episode. Doing a how-to this time. How to apply beard oil, beard balm, I'm gonna do mustache wax as well. Kinda how to maintain it. I just washed my beard, it's a little damp. Use a nice organic beard wash. Make sure you use an organic gentle wash to not strip the hairs or dry out the skin underneath. Um, use it as many times a week as you feel necessary. I use mine every day. Some people say only use it once, twice a week. Do whatever your beard tells you is right. If it feels good and you know you sweat a lot, you work outside, then you may need to use it every day. If not, then use it as necessary. Tr little trick I picked up, instead of using a towel to dry your beard, a towel is very rough and can break off the hair and absorbs the natural oils and kind of dries it out. I use an old t-shirt. It's very gentle, dries it off nicely, just gently get the excess water off of it. It's really nice, it's soft. Just use, I know a lot of people have old t-shirts lying around, so that's what I use. So then I like to comb it out, get the tangles out. This is just a regular old brush, my wife Heather's brush. You pick it up at any dollar store, whatever, Walmart, for a few bucks. Comb it out, and that's fine, just comb it like that, if that's how you want to leave it, and then apply the oils. But what I like to do in little trick is, I get this little chin dip right here, so what helps, I find helps, is I like to comb it from underneath. Get it up, looking real wild. It's a pretty cool part. Get it combed up, like that. Kind of look like a Civil War general. Jasper, fetch me my rifle. <laughs> Nah, but what I've noticed, I'll let it dry like that, kind of fluffed up, and it gives my beard a little more body, a little more thickness, looks a little fuller. So I'll leave it like that, let it dry, and kind of stands like that, and then after it's dry, maybe it's still a little damp, the pores are still open, I'll get the beard oil. And when you're first starting out, it's hard to know how much to use, and it really depends on the size of your beard. If you have a short beard, it's only going to take a couple of drops. For a beard like mine, I usually use half a dropper, about a dime sized amount to a nickel. Um, get it rubbed in your hands real good. And I start underneath, get it down to the skin. Because that's what you're trying to do is hydrate the skin as well as the hair. Gives it a nice shine. And they say, there's studies lately that say massaging the skin actually stimulates hair growth. It's pretty cool, so enjoy that as well. So I got it applied. So then I kind of push it down with my hands, get it, the excess on the outside. Our oil is real absorbent, so all it takes is a little towel, wipe it off, comes right off. So then that's that. Comb it through, and you can stop there. Comb it. Style it how you want. And if that's how you like, that's how I do it some days. I just let it look a little more wild, just oils. You can see the oil gives it a nice shine too. And that's it, you can stop there. But on those days you want a little more hold, a little more control, a little bit neater beard, move on to the balm. How I use the balm is I scrape a little bit out with my thumb, just about that much, not too much. Put it in my palm, just like that. I like to, to rub it between my palms like that. It creates a little more friction, breaks it down a lot easier. Some people say to do it between your fingers. I find that doesn't work as well, so I do it between my palms. Then I gently apply it to the beard on the outside. And you can see how it controls it. Mm, that smells good. You can see how it controls it. Get a little on the mustache too. Gets it looking a lot, a lot neater. Then you can take a comb, brush it through, style it. And then this bad boy right here, Boar Bristle Brush, can't recommend it enough. Just gently drag it across the outside. Don't really want to press down to the skin. And that really gives it a little more shape. So, that's usually where I stop. But sometimes I like to train the mustache. My, I don't ever trim my mustache, so I like to keep it out of my mouth, keep it controlled. So then I move on to the wax. Get the mustache wax going. And... The ingredients in the wax actually help train the mustache so you don't have to use it all the time. It'll start going that way on its own. So I just use a little bit, little bit, rub it between my fingers. And like I said, I just use it to keep it out of my mouth. I'm going to push it to the side, push it down, get it shaped how you want it. I like to keep it out of my mouth, have that 
natural mustache look. And that's usually as much as I do. It doesn't take very much at all. It's kind of a soft medium hold, which is what I like. I don't like it to get real stiff. So just like that, or if you want to add a little more, get crazy, do the handlebars, you can do that too. Whatever your style is, whatever you like, whatever you're comfortable with. That's basically it. A little short how-to, how to use oil bomb and wax. If you have any other questions or any tips you want to add, please do. I'm going to do another how-to on how to blow dry it. I used to blow dry it to kind of straighten it. I stopped doing that once my beard got longer and kind of straightened more on its own. So look forward to that one. Until next time, beard on.